All right, hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be playing some Chain Chain Story in Dance Warrior Six. It was a time of war, of heroes hastening to join battles as the sound of their rise and fall echoed across the land. Throughout China, great warlords competed for dominion. Following their ambitions and aspirations, they faced each other with steel against steel. It was into such a world that Sun Shang Zhang was born. Following the wishes of their deceased father Sun Jian, Sun Shang Zhang's brother Sun Se took up the fight to establish the Sun family as rulers over the land. Wanting to support her brother, she decided to follow him into battle. Afternoon, Evelyn. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for saying that. The camp thing that's playing right now. You get to be a hero, fight for the land and all that, then after you get to sit on the Imperial throne. Shang Zhang, I know you said you wanted to fight, so I brought you with me. But hey, you're my sister. There's a chance you could get hurt. I don't believe you. I thought if anyone understood, you would. I am a daughter of the Soon family, sister to the little conqueror. I want to be a warrior, not a little housewife. Hey, I never said you couldn't fight, and I'm glad to have you by my side. All right then. Hurry up, will you? We have to retake the land of Wu. What sort of weapon I have for her? Uh, flashing an element. That's pretty good already. Yep, I'll stick with that. And yeah, Soon Jian's already dead off screen. Soon Quan and Jotai don't grow off, 500 KOs. Take those two bases. Starting a bit further down south than usual. Oh yeah, didn't someone say there were different lines if you defeated uh, Liu Yong first? You know what, I'll try and do that. See, uh, see what happens. Changing has a pretty good move set. Just relying on the arrows to riddle people from afar. If you shoot them up close, it deals like even more damage. Let's see if this is some some uh, hardcore drugs. Nah, just meat. It'll take a while before we can get Changing high. Ruzid is very samey, just because, like, it's a lot of just shooting the bow and arrows. Like, see, she jumps and moves around a little bit, but that's, that's about all she can really do with it. At least for her square string. If I can get her square grab off. Yeah, two kicks and then another point blank shot. Her triangle grab. Throw someone with her legs. It's nice that her arrows make a shockwave upon impact with the ground when you're on a horseback. So is like a spin kick and then arrows falling down. My lord, Master Yuan Shu is headed this way. Huh? What is he coming here for? He wants to help. That's not like him. We still have a lot to learn, Sun Se. Of course he's not coming to help. Still, this is what we want. 
I'll at least actually see you live too, see if he says anything different. <laughs> I'll try and leave so I should see you alive. Yeah, just look at what she can do with this group of officers with one Muso. Ridiculous. Oh, we're gonna hear that a lot, aren't we? There's any different dialogue, actually. So I think there's another case of someone just being full of shit again. We already have full Rinbu for the her running triangle. Is a kick with a little explosion. Running square. Jump square. Don't try. Cutscene. Master Sun Tse, we have come here to help you. You traitor, you on shoe. You will pay. I, Liu Bei, descendant of Liu Shang, King of Zhongshan. Your He's all about his lineage in this game. Well, right, I'm jump sure charge. Triangle combo. And hold triangle. Man, that is a lot of arrows. Uh, I think that's everything. Oh, she does have one kick during her S ring. I guess this time I'll leave you on chew for last. Someone called Chang Chang a door killer. She's an everything killer. Because they didn't realize, like, shooting multiple arrows, each individual arrow counts as a hit. Musou especially is devastating. Young fool. Still, I had not thought my armies would be so easily defeated. Oh, well done, Shang Shang. I hope you don't expect to beat your brother, though. Shut up, you aren't playable. Well, I guess he is playable, but. Sure, let's duel. Wow, that was so difficult. <laughs> Liu Bei immediately asking for help. It would be kind of hilarious if... He shows up on the first stage and then just dies. I 
I'm expecting Sun Quan will actually have the most involvement in this story than anyone else's. Though Shang Chang has someone to yell about when it comes time to fight Liu Bei. Shang Chang's special tome skill is volley appropriately, so just arrows rain down. In addition to her also shooting arrows. And this is a slaughter. Someone mentioned I should have played on Chaos. I honestly didn't even think about it. I was only thinking like, okay, I'm starting to stream, let's get into the actual stage. I just went straight to Master because that was the default for everyone else. I am impressed. I must not fall behind. But playing on the same difficulty does showcase like which characters are just really fucking good, which ones are just really fucking bad. I mean, I'd be able to tell how much better Shang Chang gives to everyone else if I was playing on a harder difficulty, you know? Plus, I'd rather not die in like two hits. I don't know how hard Chaos is. I'd like to have some margin for error so I can at least screw around while I'm playing. <laughs> I almost have a thousand KOs. God. Shang Chang is a monster in this game. By abstention, so is Yu Ying, because she also has the bow and arrow moveset. Yeah, her getting a unique moveset in Nice Warrior 6 Special is actually a downgrade for her. <laughs> we defeated Yuan Shu. The stage's not in. Let's see. Wipe out all enemy units. Okay. Actually, I may as well. See if I can get a thousand KOs. There we go. I don't think they can actually kill Liu Shun. Because he's the last one alive. So he's sort of like acting as commander now. The player has to end the stage. Josai says before politely opening the door. I thought she might have lines with Liu Bei, but apparently not. Already level like 31. I think Dion Wei was like level 37 for like his last stage because it was just so hard to do well as him and get its XP. Meanwhile, Shang Shang is like honestly pretty fucking high level. Uh, what do I want to aim for here? Shoot ice arrows while using volley. Uh, let's aim for another tome. I can spam volley more later. Uh, she does have some big stat increases along this path. I guess I could just aim for that. What is this? Movement speed temporarily increases while running, and that's whatever. In the durations of temporary items, that's okay. What are, what are other skills? What's this one? Bruise and morale of your allies and answer KO count to your KO count. Meh. The room boost stuff. Increases the reload rate of your volley. Ballista bolts are also fired on the enemy while using your volley, so... Apparently, there's also Ballista bolts being launched whenever she uses her tome. I didn't notice them. His 
spirit rising to the heavens and across the land, Sun Tse was able to recapture the Wu territory, which was the ancestral land of the Sun family. It was in the midst of that battle that Sun Shang Zhang met a man named Liu Bang. In his calm demeanor, she recognized a certain something that reminded her of her brother. It would have been good if they showed that in any capacity. In the meantime, Cao Cao and Yuan Shao were poised on the edge of a titanic battle in Guangdu. Sun Tse, thinking to slip between them and strike Cao Cao from behind, advanced his forces on his capital at Xuchang. The little conqueror of Zhang Dong had challenged the conqueror of the Central Plains. After we have defeated Wei, we'll be closer to taking control of the land. Yeah, but we haven't run out of enemies. Ambitious ones like Liu Bei and his ilk. Liu Bei. I wonder what he's like. Do I have the pleasure of addressing the sister of Lord Sun Tse? I must offer you my thanks. Your aid ensured our victory. No, we played but a very small part. My lady, duty awaits me. Goodbye. Shang Fei is just the third wheel that doesn't want to be there. He is a strange one. It may sound silly, but he reminded me a lot of you. Is that so? I can't imagine why you would. Hmm. I'm not really sure either. But still, you know, I would like to meet him again. Yeah, I don't really get it either. <laughs> I think she's just saying that because the narrator did. And she's just assuming he knows what's best. The right, this time I'm going to ignore the main gate entirely, just see if my allies can take it over on their own and go after these two bases. Trying to accomplish that objective for once. And maybe I'll go after the watchtowers after that. Watch post. It's still weird to see Lu Xun here. Leave that up to you, Sunsei. First, concentrate your men at the main gate. You would prefer to fight there, would you not? You uh, your wits are you know, Invasion of Xu Chang like plays from like Sunsei's stage, and you're gonna hear it there a lot more than you will, you know, playing that one stage where CVG has it. But it's just such a good theme. And when CBE invades Xu Chang, it's such an awesome moment. Like, now the song is just associated with him. Even though you hear it way more for Wu. Yeah, the higher uh, Shang Chang's Rinbu get, the more arrows she starts to shoot. So, more so than other characters, she performs even better the higher Rinbu is. As with basically every other character, it's all just a matter of getting the Rinbo up. Oh, well done, Shang Shang. I hope you don't expect to beat your brother. This face is all mine. Let's go crush one of those insightful faces. Follow me. Yeah, I think she's shooting like four arrows at once before, now she's shooting like six. Right, now what's the best way to reach that base? I guess just, yeah. Breaking through this one. And heading up the stairs.
Yeah, you can see how much faster that door was destroyed compared to the first one when she had one Rinbu. I must think of something to stop. Actually, not entirely sure how standard power and swift weapons chain chain chains moves that. Maybe her arrows go farther with the power weapon, for example. We still haven't seen her deadlock attack. It that may be a hard one to see. <laughs> so I think you need to be like point blank with an enemy to trigger it. When there's really no reason to be point blank with Chang Chang at any moment. Not even trying to destroy the watchtowers, they're just collateral damage. Moo is already here helping. Uh, I'm doing well, Omega Surge. Thank you for asking. You know what, Sensei? I'm just going to go ahead and get started on the second gate. <laughs> They said they're setting up rams though, so maybe they won't break the second gate until the first one's open. But they are already setting up ladders. Oh, there's a ram. It will be amusing if I open the second gate before the first. Yeah, leaving, your, leaving the AI to their own devices, they still don't break it in time. I shot a rock completely over the gate. What was he even aiming at? Right on. The gate has opened. Now, through the gates. So just knocking open the gate is not enough. All right, we will force our way inwards. Like way ahead of you. The inner gate to their main camp is <laughs> Alright, that's all the watch towers. I kind of forgot just how good Shang Kang was. Like, holy shit. It's night and day compared to Dion Wei. Shang Kang's voice is too damn squeaky. It's just Kunoichi's voice. <laughs> like, the voice actress did not even try to change it. We must 
Guess I should wait for Shao Doon to show up, huh? So far, everyone has had lines with Shao Doon, and I hate to miss whatever Shang Tang has to say to him. Considering there's so few, like, unique character interactions in these, uh, Muso modes. I wonder what you're fighting down here, Dongchi. We are being driven back. However, we mustn't give in. You're fine, Lu Shun. Actually, you're completely surrounded all on your own. What are you doing up there? You wanted to set the main camp on fire, didn't you? I'm hoping Jehudun will spawn quickly. I can just beat them all back here and then turn right back around. I'm here preemptively to wait for them. Good. Ideally save time in the long run, though. Just the fact they have so much extra time is Shang Shang. Like, look at the map. It's just the main camp left. Decimated the field. <laughs> Shang Shang with Kanoichi's voice doesn't feel right for me. I can kind of get that. Oh no, they did, like, make her appearance, like, look way younger than, uh, Dungeon Warriors 5 and Dungeon Warriors 2 to 5. Was she playable in Dungeon Warriors 1? It didn't matter, the graphics in there were terrible, you couldn't tell anyone's age, really. Actually, a lot of characters were aged down in Dungeon Warriors 6, weren't they? Like, Sun Quan was as well. Although he retained the same voice actor. It's in 7 when he started to, like, have much more of a story presence. They, like, deliberately got a younger guy to voice him. Or a guy that can sound younger to voice him. Some of Sun Quan's lines in Dynasty Warrior 7 actually, uh, change depending on where he is in the, His, uh, voice actor's tone changes depending on where he is in the story. Like, he'll sound younger earlier in the story and then sound, like, deeper later on. It's a bit jarring when you hear, like, say, like, a praise quote towards his father, where he's, like, more higher pitch. But, like, you'll hear his, like, older voice for, like, any, like, commanding lines. Okay, here they come. What? He's returned from Guan Du already? He must have got a hint of what we were planning. <laughs> They're just beating all the guys at the main camp. I'm missing out on the ESP, but oh well. <laughs> Imagine soon say getting killed by Shen Yu. I would laugh very much. Do Libu's story on chaos? Maybe. I don't know how difficult chaos is. I'd honestly rather not risk it. Oh yeah, Yuan Shao got made to look younger, but he's still, like... He got white hair. <laughs> look there. He became more animated. Saw. Well done, my cousin. Well, with you and I fighting together, this will be an easy battle to win! Tell you what, Big Smoke. You have asked me multiple times to play Lubu's story on Chaos. If you ask one more time, I won't do it. Ow. We'll have to entrust that to Master 
Really, what made you realize that, should you? Okay, so that was unexpected. I didn't think changing to have a line would show you on, but cool. <laughs> Just wiped out. And mentioning me and then asking, do I like being mentioned? I do when it's something that's actually worth worthwhile to tell me. It does help me to notice that particular uh, statement, whoever's making it. However, it's mostly just Big Smoke telling me the same shit I already know over and over again. Hardly anyone else actually utilizes it. Even fewer people utilize it for something that actually matters. Like, <laughs> undefeated aristocrat. Telling me to play Lulu's story on Chaos. Well, you've ruined it, now I'm playing it on Master. Ask it one more time and I play it on Easy. Shao in putting up a bigger fight than Chao Dun. Someone asked me about a game, Token Hanbu or Randu or something like that. I I'm not sure what that is. Never heard of it. So probably not gonna play it. No. Was my favorite Dynasty Warriors game. Uh, like, I like 4 for, like, purely nostalgia, but, like... <laughs> wow, look at Shunyu running <laughs> on the map. <laughs> they chased him all the way over here. I like Dynasty Warriors 4 just for, like, nostalgia reasons. But, objectively, the best one is Dynasty Warriors 8. Shang can just defy gravity. Try and get Shang Chang's dead like finisher. I should try that, yes. I'm apparently going to have to make a deliberate effort for it. Oh, that token thing is a Musou spinoff of a Japanese gacha game. Yeah, I have zero interest in whatever that is. <laughs> Valiant and Dasher, I like the name. Those invisible archers. Where did the arrows come from? Pull back to the main position. Brother Quan. What are you doing, Sun Quan? How can you just forget about Say? Don't you care about? What him? are you thinking? Yes, but Wu needs a calm leader to take control. Everything in its time. Understand? In order to move forward, we must pull back and defend here. don't understand. What is it I'm supposed to be doing? If only Say were here.
Yeah, I suppose the arrows could have came from, like, outside the, the window or whatever, but, like, that would be someone just blind firing upwards into it. You wouldn't have a vantage on that. It's the highest place on the map. <laughs> Soon say died to blind fire. There were just three archers down there just going, YOLO! <laughs> Just as the capture of Xu Chang seemed imminent, Sun Se was struck down by the enemy, and Wu was forced to withdraw. Word of his death came as a shock to everyone, from the soldiers of Zhang Dong to the common people. Sun Se's brother, Sun Quan, succeeded him, and Wu took his step in a new direction. <laughs> Quan said it was his turn to have the controller. <laughs> it was all Sun Quan. He planned it. He was going to have his screen time one way or the other. <laughs> Public opinion in Wu was split between surrender and resistance. Nevertheless, Sun Quan decided to fight back. Joining forces with the fugitive Liu Bei, he moved to meet Cao Cao in battle at Chi Bi. Captain Scuff, <laughs> the arrows came from space. <laughs> I owe you my thanks again. You convinced my brother it's time to fight. Ah, Lady Shang Zhang. I have not seen you since Wu. I have heard what happened to Master Tse. You have my condolences. I will fight with Wu against Cao Cao. I have a dream and I must further it. I believe it was Master Quan who decided we must all share the same purpose for the moment. You have dreams. You want to find a meaning in life. You know, in a strange kind of way, you remind me of Brother Tse. Remind you? Don't worry about it. If they keep going back to that, you remind me of Soon Tse. Wow, she <laughs> marries someone that reminds her of her brother, huh? <laughs> All right, well, that made this creepier. <laughs> Glad they dropped this after this game. <laughs> Same with Joseph as usual. Yeah, we actually have Liu Bei on the map. It's cool that Liu Bei himself is helping at, uh, at GB. Have I played Mortal Kombat 11? No. Someone said... Do I know what the ravages of time is? No. We must drive off Wei's boats. Show you. I leave command of the army to you. Liu Dan just starts in an enemy base. It's kind of difficult to try to bait a deadlock. Probably go help Liu Bei. He's got us surrounded down there. Damn it. I actually don't remember what her deadlock is. I'm probably gonna have to wait for someone to do a muso and then use my own. I'm just losing Rindu trying to do this. Oh, hello, Xu Huang. How are you? Too many enemies. Frame rate cannot handle it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and I'm suddenly at the Matt Rimbu. I'm not even gonna hit the gongs, just because it's kinda annoying to like hit them and then have to swim off of the boat. Or wait for the boat to reach the end of the dock. I wish the gong was like outside. Like right there or something. Shu Ling is just gone. Who says a woman has to be weak? The men can't take much more. We must fall back to the base. You know what? Fine. Eat away, Shu Ling. Nothing to say to Liu Bei, it seems. Go help Zhu Leon. I think I let him die the last time I played GB. I think you can take a ladder up here, which will be sort of a shortcut. Want to come in here for uh, for health, anyways. Come on. We are in a most difficult spot. I'm glad it only counts the Emmy officers that you have to defeat. An impressive feat. I will have to adapt my tactics to keep up. This is all Nintendo 64. Yeah, can confirm. I always have to play games authentically, you see. I cannot lose to an idiot like you. I think TV just has more lag than others just because there's so much water. It's just you. Damn it. Who says a woman has to be weak? Man, we must hold him back. It's do or die. You may just have to look up online whatever her dead like finisher has. Men, we must hold him back. It's do or die. The wait is over. May this wind carry us to victory. They talk about feet a lot in this game. Probably help those guys getting their asses kicked at the top left or top right over there. This is all that I can do. The rest I will leave in your capable. Hey, you could stay here and fight. You could do that. It's an option. Man, murdered him, despite this being like a duel, so he had enhanced defense.
Shang Shang, I am pretty sure no one in this game even says that. I think the closest thing we had towards a comment like that was show how you won in the last stage. Talking about girls being tough down south. Which he said he <laughs> wanted to go down there then. So it was like a positive thing for him. Just having a lot of boats is going to save you? Take this! <laughs> Shrekinator, I said it. <laughs> I read it. Shang Shang said it to herself. <laughs> so she could prove herself wrong. <laughs> Aristocrat. <laughs> you lose a chance fighting against Wu, especially on the water. Aristocrat, what is your home life like? <laughs> Women are not weak. I am totally not being held at gunpoint right by a woman right now. <laughs> Two hits, man. One officer down south, but eh, I don't feel like going all the way down there for that. Oh, hello, tiger. Just, just hanging out here. My allies took him out anyways. He'd have been defeated by the time I got down there. It's nice of the fire to have friendly fire turned on. Let us have a glorious fight. Do your muso. So I can do mine and then, like, counter it. Okay, he's gonna fucking kill me if I try and bait out an attack. I can... And for a second there, I think he was trying to charge his Muso at the end. I was already using mine. Which point? Too late, Jeng Hei. Ah, I meant to kill Sai Mao with, like, at least a grab attack. He chuck him off the boat, but Chain Chain's too good. Couldn't stop her in time.
Oh yeah, Shang Chang actually, like, having a bow as a weapon now does make her whole Lady of the Bow stick, like, actually makes sense now. As opposed to when she said that in, like, Dynasty Warriors 5 and especially Warriors Archie, when she was wielding chakrams. Of course, she gets the chakrams back later, but then she at least still uses a bow for her muso. Some of her musos. I think the Air Muso and maybe her R1 Muso? I actually don't remember what her R1 Muso is. What will be the next game I play after Dynasty Warrior 6? I don't know yet. Uh, the next Warriors game I play? Uh, well, it'll be Dynasty Warrior 6 Special first. Then... Uh, Maybe Samurai Warriors 3? Ugh. Uh, Ugh. I, I might try really hard to find something else can play before that. Maybe Samurai Warriors Katana. Because almost no one has seen, like, a playthrough of that. I do have one on my channel already, but haven't streamed it. You can hear the audible frustration of me swinging the Wiimote and it not doing what the fuck I want it to. <laughs> Dodge Warriors 9 stream. Dodge Warriors 2. How about neither of those? Captain has suggested I play Dice Warriors 2, like, multiple times. And I refuse. It's not happening. Maybe Dice Warriors 3. Maybe I'll do, like, a few stories in that. Three at Stream Legends? Sure, I'll get around to playing that at some point. That's actually good. The game cannot handle all these rocks and arrows. What if there are more arrows, though? <laughs> oh, apparently I got a thousand kills. Didn't even realize it. Don't tell activate his boulders again. Chill out, dude. I must pull back here. My ambition is not yet extinct. Who says a woman has to be weak? Chow Chow's forces have pulled back. Raise the call for victory. We have won. Skip two, go straight to Dynasty Warriors 1. No, I, I refuse Dynasty Warriors 1. I hate playing that game. I'm already not good at fighting games. Now we get tones every 300 KOs. Eventually I'll get up to this attack times 20 that Shang Chang absolutely does not need, but I want. joining between you and Liu Bei. It will benefit the future of Wu. Yes, I understand. However, I am not doing this just because you said to. I'll do it by my own will. I want to see more of the world, that's why. I will fight with Wu against Cao Cao. I have a dream and I must further it. Stand behind 
behind him no matter what. You must show me that I have not been mistaken, my Lord Liu Bei. Do those uh, lady soldiers actually appear, like, on the map? I don't recall ever fighting any, like, female soldiers, like, hanging around Chang Chang or any of the other female officers. Those might only appear in that cutscene. Huh. The combined Soon and Liu forces were victorious at Chi Bi, and Cao Cao fled back to Xu Chang. At the same time, Liu Bei overwhelmed the independent province of Jing in order to acquire a base of his own. Using that as a foothold, he began to move his forces toward Yi province. Meanwhile, talks of Sun Chang Zhang and Liu Bei's betrothal emerged. Forestalling Sun Quan, who sensed a political meaning behind it, Sun Chang Zhang declared that she was going over to Liu Bei. There was no longer anyone among the heroes of Wu whom she admired. Lady Shang Zhang, I'm sparing Yi. I have blood ties with too many of them. I cannot attack. Even when you don't like doing things, you have to do them. How else will you build your land, silly? My brother had to use the Imperial Seal to gain the troops needed to recover the land of Wu. Not even remotely so the same. if you really want to build a dream, then you've got to be a lot more flexible. What do you say? More flexible. Right. Ugh. When we go into battle, I hope you don't plan on leading your men with such a sad expression. Battle? Lady Shang Zhang, do you intend to ride into battle? Of course! That's why I came here, to love you forever and see the world. She really just got on board with Liu Bei quick, didn't she? And yes, yes, I'll change her outfit. I was planning to for this stage already. Because it's a green outfit, so it's appropriate for, like, fighting alongside Chu. Probably change it back after this stage, once we jump shift back to Wu. So you take the two bases, take the gates. Peng Tong doesn't get murdered. Eh, uh, let's, let's let him die. Because I, I saved him last time, because I played as Xiao Yun, who starts, like, right next to him. So, like, you'd have to deliberately try not to rescue Peng Tong. So let's hear the lines when he dies. I think Liu Bei will comment on it. <laughs> the chat is just like, yeah, Shang Shang pegs Liu Bei. God. It's immediately where you go with this, huh? I keep thinking that's that Sima Yi. That voice is Dynasty Warriors 5 Sima Yi. It is not Peng Tong. It is the same voice actor, though. And, you know, and he goes back to talking like Peng Tong with Dynasty Warriors 7. eventually trigger the deadlock and then not mash square hard enough to actually win it. It is harder than it looks, you know. Never watch phase is always annoying. Amazing. We will have to display our strength as well. I have come for your head.
This is an excellent forest. Perfect place to set up an animal. Who says a woman has to be weak? It's rolled in the door, Ming Da. Oh yeah, if Ming Da was playable, it would also add another enemy to fight for this stage, wouldn't it? An impressive feat. Like, a while ago, someone had asked me, like, some of the characters are some of the, uh, people I would have liked to see Fade Musa officers, and Ming Da was one I'd like to see. So I think it'd be interesting. Now is our chance to take the enemy camp. Everybody, prepare to move out. Oh, the chat is still talking about... Okay. <laughs> Do not allow the to our we must protect the I didn't say Sai Mao. I mean, what does Sai Mao do anyways? He shows up at GB and then gets killed? Yeah, great. Incoming captain with a rant of like all the good things South uh, Sai Mao actually did. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. Are you lost? You didn't really think you could pass so easily through a road like this. I work for a greater purpose. It is a purpose that even I will risk my life for. Just hide underneath the horse. What fools come rushing through a forest? This mistake shall be a last. For Liu Sheng, the peace of Chengdu, we shall protect all. Hey, the enemy is a lot tougher than I thought. I don't use her hold triangle very much. Ow. Kind of why. Chaos of war. 
specter of ambition. I shall drive you back. I do like how there's essentially three different ways you can advance on this stage. Wang Fu just trying to run. Huntsley always a uh, young strategist in this game. I thought he was like a different type of generic for Dinosaur Warrior 6 Special. I think he gets changed. You're just misremembering. Guess I'm fighting units. Fucking arrows. Who uses arrows? Where did Ma Chao even go? Okay, he went straight down. I think he's going straight towards Liu Bei. Go rescue his bitch ass. Play just in case I can't make it in time, and Machal just runs him through. I can still combo someone while they're down on the triangle screen. Yeah, she does have like, I think, two or three ground pound attacks in that. It's just. Do I really need to? <laughs> Yeah, thank you for deleting that, Captain. I do not want that being a thing. You're all just down here, aren't you? Oh, hey, Zhang Fei. <laughs> Jane Bao has an intro. Interesting. Good job on surviving all that, Machao. I am actually kind of impressed. Not much, but I am. How could I have lost? What strength 
does Liu Bei possess that can surpass that of justice? A spunky tomboy wife. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. <laughs> Lady Shang Shang, excellent work. I will do my best to match you. Forgive me, Lady Shang Shang, for allowing you to see me in this wretched state. Yeah, just like your brother, huh? <laughs> I hope we see Liu Bei dead with, like, arrows in him. <laughs> Tighten the defenses around the base. We cannot lose as long as it still stands. I believe I'm any reason to actually take over these watch posts, right? Nah. Molly is so good for just getting the XP. Like the uh, the fire special is still the best one easily, but Molly is definitely the second best. Doing fine, thank you. I keep getting like just three level ups. If I had one more, I'd be able to get that extra attack. Move it speed increase. You know what? That's that's nice to just have in general. Seventy with flash. Uh, Seventy-three with flash. I'll replace that one at least. subjugated Chengdu and brought all of Yi province under his control. The world now entered the period of the three kingdoms of Wu, led by Sun Quan, Wei, led by Cao Cao, and Shu, led by Liu Bei. In such confusing times, Liu Bei's sworn brother, Guan Yu, fell to the enemy at Fan Castle in Jing province. Hearing the news of Guan Yu's death, Liu Bei was consumed by rage and marched his army toward Yi Ling. Caught in the middle of this cruel twist of fate, Su Shang Zhang was forced to choose between her loyalties. Those black hearts of Wu. They'll pay for this. I shall avenge their murder of Guan Yu. Lord Liu Bei? Sun Shang Zhang. Mm. I understand. Go do what you must. If your path demands that you avenge the death of your sworn brother, then I shall walk that path with you. I'm sorry. It must be hard for you to choose. It was by my choice that I left Wu and joined my life to yours, my love.
Jinkfei presumably is still just like smashing pots in the background. I actually forgot Chang Chang plays this stage on the shoe side. Huh. Yeah, Alright, time to kill our brother. <laughs> <laughs> Someone were making jokes about uh, Shang Shang betraying Wu and like killing Sun Quan <laughs> for daring to have screen time, and apparently it's going to happen. This unit survives. Some Sentinel Maid stays up. Destroy all enemy units. I'm gonna try something different. Actually, going to not press forward because I think that may uh, be what triggers the Wu fire attack. Let Zhang Fei take as long as he needs to and utilize this time to go attack elsewhere. And hey, maybe Mi Fang will kill him. Who knows? It could happen. No, the fire attack can't be prevented. At least not on the Chu side. I don't remember if it can be on Wu. I don't think it can, though. Rude. Close the door on me like that. are behaving suspiciously. Okay, so probably if you wait long enough, then the fire attack will trigger on its own, too. It's still giving me time to go and clear out the other areas, though. Ah, uh, looks like Mifang didn't make it. And the fire attack was just about to happen, too. Cowards from Wu are using fire? I should have seen this coming. Sorry to keep you away. Now step back and let me handle this. You can't 
I like how Ga Ning and the others like actually spawn in the water. That they have to swim on the land. So sorry. Next time we meet, I'll pay you back double. Uh, you know, the handstand, like, spinning kick thing is also a Kunoichi move. What Chang Chang does for her Muso end. Kunoichi does it at the end of her S-string. Getting fucked. You may where are you? Oh, you're you're not doing well. Morale is bottomed out. Hey, left side's taken care of. Oh, Fushi Ren still late. goes down. Maliang, it is up to us to open a path for Lord Liu Bei. Sentinels will let us through, but confuse our enemies. It will give us time to improve. You would do that when I didn't have Muso. Who says a woman has to be weak? Where's Liu Bei again? Right, he's up there. Jane Faye just leaving him behind. already dead. He couldn't even get off his horse. Not only is the woman thing unwarranted, like, Chang Chang doesn't even need to talk like she's weak. Like, she is by far the best character in the game. The only thing she might have trouble with is, like, elevation. Like when the enemies are on top of the base. 
Or both will just sort of hit the well, base of the base. Arrows, I can say. <laughs> Man, Lucian can't even reach the Stone Sentinel base. Machine just ran away. No particular reason. Just fled. Now, how are we related? Won't matter for very long. Oh boy, she reinforcements are approaching because we totally need that. Yeah, I'm surprised no one has addressed Soon Ching Ching, you know, betraying Wu. I must defeat you. My duty demands it. Now come and fix me. And again, she hasn't really spoken with any of the Muso officers we've encountered thus far. Not to just use the Muso and everything, but sometimes they get really annoying with blocking. Can we all start speaking in Wei Yan, please? Uh, we can when I play Wei Yan's Muslim mode in Dynasty Warrior 6. One is rightly just like, the fuck, Shang Chen? Oh, an extra line. That lieutenant almost killed me. Going you up in heaven was just, was just like, oh, what? No, I was watching the TV. Uh, can you do it again? Uh, 
How strange. That you would be the one who would put an end to my dream, Sheng Sheng. Sheng Sheng, stay your hand. What? It's you, my Liu lord. Liu Bei, finish it. I am not so enamored of my life. You insult me with pity. So that's what it is? Can you only imagine a world filled with vengeance and hatred? I also dream of a new land, but it is not as cruel and pathetic as yours. I thank you, my dear lord. No, it is you who must be thanked, my lady. It was the sorrow on your face that made me realize a vision has no merit if it does not include mercy. It's a good thing Quan only had one arrow in him. If it was three, he would have gone down like Sumsei did. Level 44. Finally got that plus 20 attack. And the plus weight events. And you know what? A plus 20 life. And sure, slightly higher movement speed whenever I run. Why the fuck not? And, uh... Yeah, ice arrows would honestly be kind of broken, because can you imagine during volley, enemies are also getting frozen? <laughs> As if Shang Shang needs something else to make her better. Fifty-seven with flash. Uh, and a nice element. And Rimbu Spirit. That's, that's also good. Also, this weapon has balance, gain the advantage in a weapon that, like, not triggered once. Damn, A1. And a whole bunch of other effects are like, you know, along with Flash. <laughs> Why is Shang Shang getting all the good weapons? He's the last one that needs it. Yu Bei beat Sun Quan at Yi Ling, and Wu came under the control of Shu. But for the mercy of Liu Bei, Wu's lord and sovereign, Sun Quan would have been slain. It was the best ending Sun Shang Zhang could have hoped for in this battle between two people she loved dearly. Only one enemy remained before Liu Bei. Joining forces with Wu, he decided to participate in a joint attack against Cao Cao, with Sun Shang Zhang fighting alongside the Wu forces at Hefei Castle. Thinking of her love far off in Hanzhong, she approached her final battlefield. Shang Shang, are you sure? Do you really want to leave Liu Bei behind while you fight with us? Maybe it's not my place to say, but won't you be very lonely without him? It doesn't matter that we are apart. We will always be connected. In my heart, I know that. And because of that, I'm fine. I will do what I can to support my Lord Bei. Hmm. You are too romantic for me, sister. You can count on every one of us to help. You'll see. We will build a new land. Oh, I see. I see it now. We don't need heroes anymore. We have enough of those already. Now I understand what it is that I seek. <laughs> Raphael, Lord Bay. B A E. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Miss Osa. Surprised that Soon Quan is alive. Did you not watch the last cutscene or hear the narrator? Open any gate in 10 minutes, get to the central passage, blue shooting gun, and gonna draw. Pretty easy. Your dream really doesn't talk about Wei much, like, at all. She had a conversation with Shahar Yuan, that was it.
Oh, oh, right, right, the weapon. <laughs> uh, fine, fine. <laughs> as soon as I start the stage, I just see it all cats. Lotus bow! <laughs> I was talking about the weapons myself, it's like, ooh, these are definitely better than the one I currently have. I can't wait to use them, and then forgot immediately. Alright, uh, sure, Lotus Bow. See yeah, how much of a difference the uh, speed type weapon makes on her. We shall lay siege to Wade and destroy Cao Cao. This battle will decide Wu's fate. I think Wu's fate is already decided. Subservient to Shu. Okay, the number of arrows she's shooting has decreased. With a standard bow, she shoots, uh... Four arrows at her first rainbow. Which already missing out on an arrow does decrease her damage output quite a bit. Yeah, it looks like her Muso, she's shooting five arrows instead of the six she was. Come on, are we gonna get her high? Nope. Who goes into battle without a weapon? Gracia. Come on! Okay, you guys go first. Draw aggro. Damn it! <laughs> oh, come on! They got up, but not me. Yeah, her max is five arrows now, and it was definitely six before. So I'm assuming the power bow would give her another arrow. Look how quickly she destroys that compared to like Dion Wei. We took an hour to take these things down. Actually, did I ever find any blisses of Dion Wei? I don't think I did. Other characters take like an hour to do it. Suffice to say, Dion Wei would have taken an hour to do it. Nah, he would have taken two hours. What's the middle objective again? That gate is open, isn't it? 
No, I just went behind it. Uh, control passage. Well, it'll be open shortly. They have literally no opposition. Rock throwers suck. Their accuracy is ridiculous. And a phase through them there. Did you see? It will draw you in and devour you. This is the enchanted castle of Heifei. There is a trap placed in the center. Do not go there. Move to the left and right and head further in. Fuck you, brother. You don't tell me what to do. Central Boulevard gate. Boom. I think Lu Shun had a line for that last time I played this stage. I presume it's just different depending on who's uh, Musa mode you're playing. Ning is already attacking the main gate. The enemy has strengthened their formation, but do not falter. We must push forward and take the castle. I am sorry I was delayed. With our forces combined, we should have enough to counter attack. Your orders? I'm 
must fight harder. Another reinforcement show up sooner if the uh, blue forces reach South South's location. Like before they would appear normally when you're playing as Wei. I presume the exact same will happen when you're playing as Wei. Otherwise it would have been awfully convenient he showed up like as soon as Gan Ning got up there. I should have counted as an ambush. A bit annoyed that it didn't. Yeah, Gan Ning, you kind of overextended yourself there. The standard or speed feel better? Honestly, standard feels better. I, I can notice the damage decrease from, like, missing out on an arrow. And I can't really notice much of a difference in speed. Like, she was already pretty damn fast with standard. We finally got some drugs for Shang Shang. Good. I didn't think there were any more of them left. Now she can finally be one of the cool kids. I guess another reason she might feel weaker is because uh, this weapon doesn't have concentration on it. Concentration, like, makes your Muso, like, way stronger. But, like, the Muso gauge drains quicker. But, like, amplified damage on, like, six arrows is quite a lot of damage. Especially, like, say, if I had a time suit buff active at the same time. Not sure how much concentration boosts your, uh... Muso damage, but it feels like a lot every time I've used it. So, you know, it's even more so with Chang Chang. Also, I'm using a weapon with ice element now instead of lightning, which lightning is just pure damage. Yeah, it may not be just that I switched to a swift weapon and lost an arrow that I'm feeling a decrease in damage. It's probably all of those factors. Despite, like, the base damage on the weapon, like, being higher than uh, the standard one I was using. Like, base damage really doesn't seem to matter all that much, honestly. So it is nice to have someone frozen so you just have more opportunity to riddle them with arrows. 
disaster. Yeah, but ice is cool. Oh, fuck you. The situation is dire. That took me like a half second to get the joke. I think this one guy just like hangs out on that bridge for like the entire stage. He won't move unless you like come directly to him. And I didn't realize Sun Quan advanced forward this much. Oh, so you picked the poor place to hang out. Like, you realize this room is actively trying to kill you, right? Guess I'll, now I'll destroy them since I can do it easily. I do think the range on the arrows has decreased a bit, too. I would really have to like have like a side-by-side -side video comparison to know for sure, though. And I could do that. I won't, but I could. Oh, okay, you did start moving. Just, you know, to prove me wrong, I assume. I have literally already beaten you. What the fuck are you on about? Sinkwon's just like, that didn't count though. And he would be right, because Shang Shang used cutscene arrows to defeat him. Nice toss, whoever threw that rock, it hit no one. Where did that rock come from? It was like in this direction. Juju, you, you realize your lord is in danger, right? I got nothing. You've been complaining for a while now, but I think you're fine. slaughter going on here. All those routes are people that have died and left the ESP in their wake. <laughs> Shin Kang runs pretty damn quick. With her default speed buff and her actual speed buff just from running enough. Killed Sales, that one wasn't even close to him. This is mine now. I'm in control. Hooray, we won! Level 48. I think Guan Yu got up to level... 47 or 46 when I finished his second playthrough. So yeah, Shane Shane's gotten the most it's big. And now she has the ice arrows.
because that's totally what she needed. That's a strength weapon with Flash. Nah, the one I have is better. Wu-Shang <laughs> Plains next. <laughs> On whose side? I guess it had to be Shu, but like, Southdown's dead. <laughs> May I offer you my congratulations? We have created a new land and we have peace. Yes. But many, so many have gone. My brother Guan Yu, first and foremost. I strove my hardest to get where I am, but now I feel more sorrow than joy. Lady Shang Zhang. I fear I will never be a hero like some men, like your brother was. You don't have to be a hero. We don't need one. I don't need one. Walking at the side of one who you care about, holding hands and sharing life together? That is what's important. That is what I think the world truly needs. All is well, my Lord Bay. We will be together, now and forever. Wife is temporary, sworn brothers are eternal. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> A lord of war! <laughs> what an evaluation. <laughs> and honestly, appropriate. Shang Shang just became a housewife, <laughs> but willingly. stream ever. Oh no, I actually thought this would be quicker, but no, nah, two hours is about normal. I was Jang Fade so quick. Because he had Shang Bon. Yeah, and that stage forces you to end it quickly. Yeah. Fucking Shang Bon ruins everything. <laughs> Way on next. <laughs> yeah, let me get right on playing Gizmuso mode that totally exists. joke, but if I don't clarify, like, someone in chat's gonna, like, point it out or, like, actually expect me to play way on. I'm gonna play if I was gonna play someone with a club moveset, it'd be Don Duo. Because, I mean, come on. But, uh, just for the sake of it, I want to try Shang Shang with, uh, with a strength weapon. And also, I picked Hulao Gate because I know there's a, a full recovery close to her. So I can get a Rimbu up really quick. I suppose I already have loaded in the stage. I could just go fight Lulu. See how she does. We 
shall destroy the traitor and his ilk. Okay, no, that's still shooting three arrows. Maybe I was wrong. I don't need to check the standard one. No, that's just five. Okay. Wow, Rimbu goes down quick if you don't have, like, a chain going. Well, now I want to see standard. I may have just been looking at the, uh... Or seeing the amount of arrows it shot from the second Renbu and thinking that was first. We shall the nope. Standard shoots four. Standard just shoots four arrows. So by default, standard is best. Both swift and power just shoot less arrows for whatever reason. So yeah, hands down, standard is the best. That extra arrow seals the deal. Why- why does Standard get an extra arrow? For no reason. Ah, I didn't bring my horse with me. Oh well. Played changing enough anyways. I'll play as someone else. Thought about playing Don Duo. Fuck it, let's play as Don Duo. Uh, let's see. I guess he fought Yellow Turbans. That's the closest we'll get to having a Don Duo stage. <laughs> Wizard Club? What? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Don't blow the wizard. <laughs> maybe maybe it's called the Wizard Club because he uses it to smash wizards. <laughs> Don't blow who okay. Lubu's side. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how round he is. <laughs> Look at that roll. <laughs> Don Joel just looks at everything and is like, it's mine. Literally all of it. Just laughs when he defeats an officer. Come on, club duo, let's do it, Hong guy. All right, see his R one grab. Just smack him with the with the hilt. And the triangle grab. <laughs> Just fucking grab someone and line them up like a freaking baseball and swing a home run. The jump attacks. Pretty standard. Use hold triangle. Yeah, just swing the club around. And running triangle. <laughs> Just a roll. Only have three hits on the triangle combo, and it's just smash, smash, smash. Yeah, don't throw. <laughs> An example for everyone.
We've seen that cutscene enough. Right, see his Muso. That is a lot of spitting. And unfortunately, that's the most we can get from Dongo's Muso or uh, move set right now. One moment, Von Krau. But one moment, jeez. Impatient. The bridge is down. Now, all forces advance over the bridge. Damn it. That magic pistol. Uh, immediately finding drugs with Dawn Throw. Appropriate. No enemy can stand before us. Let us press the advance together. I do like how far the last hit on the Muso flinged people away. All that laughing. I wonder what tone Don Blo has. It would be hilarious if he had true speed. Taking okay, they cleared it out. Wondering why I was taking him and South out so long down there. Yeah, I think it's fun in dinosaur sit playing with a can. I mean, I'm gonna eventually get around to this Muso mode. No reason to play him right now. Every character with a Muso mode, I either have already played or I'm going to play. Only games with like a ridiculous amount of Muso modes, I won't play them all. Like Dice Warriors 5, for example. If I play Dynasty Warriors 6, I definitely won't play them all there. Or Dynasty Warriors 3. Because in Dynasty Warriors 3, everyone has seven stages for a Muso mode, which is excessive to say the least. And with seven stages, like, so many people just have the same stage. Fucking damn near every Shu and Wu character has the non-mon stage. And you get sick of that. Oh, if you're not taking the base yet, there we go. Hang on a second. Soon, John, what are you doing over here? Yeah, you're supposed to be over there with one guy who's currently fighting on his own and about to die. What? All right, one guy brought it on himself, I guess. Your heroism serves as an example to every man in our force. <laughs> All three, like, three Kingdom Rulers were fighting in the same area for a brief moment. Okay, Sun Quan's go- or Sun Jian's going back now. I don't know what triggered his AI to go over to the, to the left side. That normally does not happen. You fools! Your time is finished! You see before you the new age of the yellow dragon. That's his dead luck. <laughs> Smashes someone and makes him fall on his back and then flips him off. <laughs> I 
Sujian, the bodyguard of the dog, apparently. <laughs> oh yeah, if I play Dodge Warriors 3, Aristocrat has to hear Superior and shit again. <laughs> no, I want to. That didn't actually hit him. It played the animation for him, but because the hitbox was so far away, it didn't count. Just ignoring this officer? Yeah. What am I seeing? <laughs> One guy's returning the favor. <laughs> oh, leave me alone, will you? All right, well, fuck you, my lord. He killed one of them, didn't he? What does his speed drop? Oh well. Go for a ride. Oh, is that? Huh. I thought that would push me back further. I guess it only triggers up here. I expected to jump onto that and just like you know blow me away. Soon, John, get in there. Yeah. Come on. Okay, send the lieutenant for. Or just give up on the duel. All right. Don Vo, well known for his heroism. Sunjian is really stroking Don Vo's donk in this battle. Forward. By demolishing the enemy's camp, we'll crush their spirits as well. There is no place for you in the new world. May these flames burn you to the ground. <laughs> Don Vo is the new Huang guy. The Unway says that like he doesn't know. No, I guess, I guess this is the only stage you would hear the Unway's like uh, in battle lines and stuff. I think this is the only one he's actually on the map because he's not at Hu Lao for some damn reason.
Though, if I recall correctly, you can actually fight him in Lubu's campaign. Because Yanwei just lives for some reason. Probably just because he realized, oh yeah, you never fight Yanwei, let's make him an enemy. Dead. All right. Okay, Don Duo's tome is swift attack. Fair enough. Pretty much what I expected. It's weird that swift attack is what they call, uh... Oh, that gives him a temporary full Muso. Huh. I got to see his full, uh, S-screen there. Didn't know it did that. Jane Jow set the Yol to remain camp on fire. And he drops the saddle. Great. God, just look at him. So look at the beard. The what is even going on with that? Well. You have all fought well. Victory is out. He has to style that. I cannot lose. <laughs> That's a very appropriate, like, Don Dvo animation. Bonus point for, like, the fort being on fire in the background. The dong saved the world. Reaches damage to items from swift attack, whatever. Uh, he's got that terrible, like, destroy objects thing that Dion Wei also has. Oh, well, this is a path towards the Rimbu. So I'll go for that. His switch weapon was called Augur Club. Isn't that also something for like, uh, like magic users? An Augur? What the fuck is an Augur? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Who do I try next? If I try new characters, I'm still, like, trying, like, level 1 difficulty stages. Sort of limits my options. I think you want Chow's a bit leveled up. Let's see, what stage should I play? <laughs> Could play one do. Okay, yeah. Uh, someone said Yuan Chao, someone said Lu Ming. I guess I haven't played... <laughs> Yuan Shu stage. 
Okay, sure. I'll play Yvonne Chow net so I can play a hard difficulty. So let's uh, let's give Aristocrat some serious a serious dilemma here. Who do you root for now? Thanks. Both numbers and talent. I need to plan well to win this country. The larger the beast, the more it needs to be. An army is a beast as well. The enemy supply base at Wu Chao is their weakness. However, we must not act with haste. Let us defend Bai Ma and Yan Ji for the time being and wait for an opening. My lord! <laughs> Tu Yuan Chao's is canon. He's right. Send reinforcements. I have several videos where you have seen Tu Yuan Chao's on the screen at one time. This should not surprise anyone. My lord, your team is struggling under an enemy attack. We will have nowhere to go. Send our forces to the area and protect them. Yet another enemy officer bows before me. Yet another enemy officer bows before me. Yuan Chao disciplining his son. It is a lot easier to combo them on normal than it is on master. Jeez. Oh yeah, we got the third Rainbow now. Nice. Yet another enemy officer bows before me. You'll see about helping the left base. Jung Liao, I was just there to help you. Oh good, my reinforcements are here. Shangli, I was dead. Alright, I'll come back for you, Wintro. Considering Zhang Liao just died over there, I think he needs help. 
Or at least, well, the base needs help. It's... <laughs> Zhang Liao is past saving at this point. Young and his army of lieutenants. And his obnoxiously high stats. I hate you, Zelda, from Aristocrat. <laughs> Who is the real Yuan Chao? Yes. God, Wen Chao, why do you have so many lieutenants? You already had sub officers. Trying to keep him from doing any attacks. There we go. Still almost lost the fort on normal. Oh, hello, Gal Line. How long have you been here? What devilishly handsome swordsman do they have that can match him? So already decided to pull back anyways. Damn it. It is impossible to protect both these fucking bases. Not without being severely overpowered. Open Guandu's gates for all I care. Actually, out of curiosity, what happens if I take Wu Chao right now? <laughs> so I like how Shang Liao is just dead. Everyone dies in free mode. That was a white tiger. I shall face you. Come, let us fight. Okay, if you get close to it, South South just says a line anyways. Second air. Yet another enemy officer bows before me. How could you do this to me? Yet another enemy officer bows before me. Alright, time to go burn my own supplies. An ambush! Don't move! The enemy wants us to panic! 
Who are you supposed to support here, Aristocrat? Yuan Chao, obviously. Yet another enemy officer bows before me. I mean, this should not be hard to figure out. Yet another enemy officer bows before me. That guy's running animation. No matter how panicked you have ever been in your life, have you ever what ran like that? that? You say that every bit of our supplies are gone, all put to the torch? Uh, <laughs> hmm. I praised Cao Cao's strategy. It was very clever of him. However, Cao Cao has underestimated the Yuan family fortitude. Chao has fallen. Let us see how long they can last without him. Now is our chance to defeat you on Chao. Forward! <laughs> I didn't take it before you won Chao moved up though. So sure you defected right next to him. And is now fighting him to the death. <laughs> Man, when the guy right beside you just decides to defect. <laughs> I would actually put you on show in the alternate outfit. He's in his black outfit. That's cool. I don't even have that one unlocked yet. Could go that down and defeat all the officers down south, but ah, fuck it. I'm already here. I mean, there's a, when there's a Yuan Chao for Yuan Chao to kill, it just feels wrong to not have Yuan Chao kill Yuan Chao. You know what I mean? Not if I'm wanting to grab. There we go. The honor of the Yuan's. Yet another enemy officer bows before me. Farewell, Yuan Chao. I will continue my path of conquest. Persona 4. <laughs> <laughs> So poetical, Yuan Chao losing to himself. No, it's Yuan Chao losing to Yuan Chao, very different. Dispatch General. I feel like this game has by far the most titles. Keep working towards that Rinbu. Actually. Alright, cool. So next time I play you one shell, we'll have access to his entire moveset. Nice. Got some other good level ups too. One shell is a good skill tree, like honestly. <laughs> oh, apparently I apparently only found one weapon. Oh well. Time for the mental shutdown, Aristocrat says.
You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> I think I can do at least maybe one more. Uh, let's see. He's a complete show. Okay, oh, again. The one that adds for looming. Uh, okay. We'll do Hillow Gate as looming. There he is. Looming good. Weapon is Valor. Nah, we'll see the, the whip move set later. <laughs> During the next stream, actually, because the other challenge is going to be next. So, you are next. I'll crush you. And that was the grab. Or the square grab. It's a pretty nice, like, smooth combo, actually. Use triangle one. When I can land it. When I can land it. Alright, nice two-hit combo with the toss. Yeah, I guess it is more you want jail screen time. See, hold triangle. Just a swing. Jump triangle. It triggers a fiery explosion. It actually deals fire elemental damage. Interesting. Uh, jump attack. Running triangle. Another explosion with that. Running square. Okay. Yeah, and you guys can take that base. Li Ming, you are almost me, but are not. See his Muso. Just a slam. Triangle chain, just a bunch of horizontal swings. Yeah, I do actually like uh, Sun Quan or uh, Lu Ming's outfit in this game. Like what Redhead was saying about him feels appropriate. Okay, his Muso actually has uh, two additional like swings with the bike, and then it does the slam attack. It's just it's really hard to mistake that for like regular S spring attacks. You think to win alone? Learn how wrong you truly are. One more for the glory of you. I'll say the pike moves that feels pretty good. It's faster than I thought it would be. Especially given this is a standard weapon. Yeah, bye Raphael, thanks for stopping by. I'll probably stop before long anyways. Like, it's fun to play a little bit of, uh, some of the characters that don't have Musa modes. 
at the end of the stream, but there's not all that much you can do with them, especially when they're all low level. Before I jump down there, I'll defeat that officer on the right. Think you drop it be for the glory of Oh, you do. Okay. You believe match oh, wait, John Way is it? Who's our gate? Why did we not get him? <laughs> It's so weird you don't get Hulao Gate in his story. Xiong Liao dies again. It is now. The massive delay for his horse charge attack. Yun's praise to Lu Ming is far less impressive than what he had for Don Duo. I guess Don Duo triggers the superior praise quote from Toon Yun. Which makes sense, honestly. He is superior, after all. Yeah, you know what? You guys take this base. Whatever. I have officers to fight. I do love you swing them around yourself and then chuck them forward. However, we cannot save the Han if we shirk from this duty. Loyal people of the Han, let us fight. One more for the glory of Wu. One more for the glory of Wu. Freaking Ballistas. Drive you away. 
defense captains are just ganging up on me. I am probably gonna fight Lubu like a bitch and just use the horse. Couldn't beat him with the Yuan Xiao, there's no way Lu Ming is a chance. Just basic science. Because I could just not fight Lubu, but. I want the ESP. Man, I didn't get like two steps up that ladder. One of the other targets is to, yeah, open the gates in 15 minutes. I was thinking about rushing Dawn to well, just see if, like, that triggered anything. I feel like someone said that it did before, but also most things people have told me have been full of shit about this game. That gate should break through now. Now let's go say hi to Don Guo. You have no one to accompany you. Then die. Ah, almost. Oh boy, rock ball. Real glad Lu Ming has that special attack. What's up, Dong? Okay, it does spawn him. All right, we skipped the cutscene. Also means I now have Lubu in front of me. Great. Did you enjoy yourself? Now come and suffer the consequences. All right. <laughs> yeah. Now let's just let's just make a save here. Could have saved before I triggered Lubu, but. This Yari doesn't have to worry about going around him. I have speed up. I'm supposed to stay near Don Dro, but I think Don Dro is coming after me. Oh no, he's running back to base, and Libu is still after me. Libu is just out for blood at this point. But I'm back in the horse.
This may not work. There may be too many enemies around. May just have to settle for defeating Don's well. Get that Muso up. No, while Lubu uses his. I'm glad I was not near him right then. Okay. Especially not one where you had to run from Lubu. I couldn't even really run from him. <laughs> Lubu was like, you picked the wrong main camp. <laughs> oh well. Miss Allen's to me at speed, but whatever. I saw something slightly different. You won Shao one again. Yes, yes he did. Alright, well, I think that's it for the day. It was three extra stages this time. Yeah. Next stream I'll be uh, playing as Diao uh, Chan. So we'll have a whole bunch of unique stages to actually play. Alright, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>